Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome to MDS Mondays. We are working in the My Digital Studio 2 software. Uh, today's uh, project is to show you the simplest thing you can do right out of the box as soon as you get the program, um, things that you can do without even knowing how to use the program too much. So, um, I've to save time from you watching this load up onto my screen, I've already opened the program as you can see here. And this is how it will look. It, it'll, here are all of your different options of what you can do, what project you can start on. I'm going to go into designer template, designer templates, sorry about that. And in here, there are a lot of really fun templates already designed for cards and scrapbooking, um, trifold cards, tags, you know, journal, calendar, all those kinds of things. So what we will be working on is a greeting card. And as you can see over here, you see a little card peeking through. So if I want to see what that card is, I'm just going to click there and it will show me that card. And the card that you're looking at will show up in the preview window. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the card that we will be using today. It should be coming up here pretty soon. If I, did I pass it? Oh, okay, here we go. So this is from um, Summer Smooches. And that's the card we're going to use, so I'm going to click Next. And then here would show me all the available templates. I don't know if you can see here. Uh, there are two white spaces and then the back of the card and then it's also down here and I can er place things here and rearrange them or whatever which we'll do in the future when we do you know cards from from scratch but for this one I'm just going to click next like I said it's a very simple card um, as you can see it's a standard A2 five and a half or 5.5 by four point twenty five or four and a quarter. It says pick and check or pick and click to insert your photos individually or you can have it auto fill. So we're just going to click next. We're not even putting pictures in here. And then I would type in here the name of the project but and then press finish and it'll come up on my screen. But I have already set this up so I don't want to make another one. As you can see, here's the card right here. And then there's my card. Really cute card. I love the colors. So I'm going to, I'm not doing anything with this card. There are so many other things we can do, and we will do that in future videos. But for this one, we're going to use it as is. So I'm going to go to my print. And here you see there's one card. Well, our new, our MDS2 has a really cool feature that I love. So I'm going to be printing this up at home. I'm going to click here where it says 5.5 by 4.25 greeting card, 4 up card front because I want 4 card front. So I'm going to click there. Isn't that cool? So now I have 4 card front. So I can print this up on my printer and then go and cut these card fronts off and out and put them you know on top of a card base so now I'm just going to send this to the printer and when I come back we will put the card together okay I'm back so here's our printed up card fronts so I'm going to need to trim away all that white space so I'm just going to get my handy little cutter here. Hey, if you want to play me. 
to get a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the. Okay. Well, now I am going to. There's a vague, very vague line that I can see there. I would zoom in, but I don't know if you would be able to see that at all. So all I'm doing is looking for that line and putting it right in the middle of my cutting channel. Honestly, here I can't see it at all, so... So now I'm just eyeballing it to where I think it looks like the center. I know I could measure this, <laughs> which would probably be the best thing to do is for me to measure it. So this is eight and a quarter. So I am going to cut it at four and an eighth. I would probably get better results by doing it that way. So there's my four and an eighth mark. There you have it. Four card fronts. So now I need my card bases. I have a couple that I did ahead of time. I'm going to cut out two more. And I love this new cutter. I have probably have said that before, but I really, really do. It's my favorite for one. For card making, it's perfect because it has most of the measurements that I use for card making. And they're where I can see them, not in an odd place like on the handle or somewhere where I lose the measurement that I need. And the fact that I can move uh, my blade out of the way and my scoring tool out of the way and still have them here. I don't have to switch them out or anything. So I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. I just like to go back two or three times. And I'm going to move that out of the way. Get my bone folder. Okay, so now I'm going to get my card fronts. And I'm going to center those on my card bases just like that. Get a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find inspiration. All I'm saying is you can do it. I want to hear you say.
So there you are, four quick and fun little note cards that you've made in no time using My Digital Studio. In a future video, I will also discuss a little bit about our printing service that we have. You can get your projects printed up professionally, um, or you can do as I did, print them up at home, which is mostly what I do. I will show you some products that we have that have been printed up professionally, so you can get a little taste of that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project, and I look forward to being with you again. Thanks for watching.